Let's look at voice and key commands in our XD prototypes. Pretty easy to set up. I'll show you how to do it. Um, I'm going to, what I want to have happen, working in the prototype tab, I want to use a voice command to open up this search screen panel. So what I'm going to do is create a voice trigger from, to transition from one artboard to another. So I'll select the voice trigger and I'll enter in a command. Um, and my command is going to be open search. So when I say open search, it'll trigger a, um, an auto animate transition over to the search artboard. So from voice to search. And then when I'm in the search artboard, I want to be able to close the search as well and go back to the, um, the voice page like so. So we're creating the trigger and then the auto animate going back to the voice page. Let's test that out and see how that goes. Now to get your prototype to I suppose here the voice command you have to hold down the space bar on your keyboard. So I'm going to hold down the space bar and test out my command. Open search. And you can see that uh, it's opened up my search panel and I'll just test the close search as well. Just holding down the space bar. Close search. And that's triggered um, the auto animate to go back to that voice page. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we can do similar, trigger similar things with the keyboard. So both of those kinds of um, uh, triggers would be good for you know, creating accessible um, outcomes in your prototypes. I'm going to delete both of these triggers and we'll rewire it, rewire them again. Um, and instead of voice, we'll go key and gamepad and we can just add any key in here. And uh, I'm going to add the Z key on my keyboard and I'll auto animate over to the search page and we'll do the same thing back to this page here. I'm going to toggle Z again, auto animate back to voice and test that out, see how it goes. Looking good, I'll hit the Z key and that pulls out our search bar. Z key again to hide it. I've got that kind of cool little function using our keyboard. So that's uh, implementing voice and key commands voice and key triggers.